Hello and welcome to my review of the Warlord Titan Macro Gatling Blaster. It's right here in this box. I got this uh, a while ago. If you're watching this video, it's probably quite a few months um, since I purchased it. Uh, I missed out on getting it on release, uh, but I was able to get the Mori Quake Cannon and this Warlord weapon um, came out a uh, fair bit before that. Uh, still one of the newer Warlord Titan weapons. I'm really excited to uh, unbox this and uh, give you first impressions. Of course, I will most likely build it and go through it in one of my live streams. So hopefully uh, you'll enjoy that. One of these weapons will set you back 92 pounds, but then again, it is a weapon for the most expensive model uh, that Games Workshop slash Forge World uh, make. So without further ado, let's unbox this. So it comes with the, uh, some pair of juicy airbags and then the box is upside down for some reason. <laughs> And I think there it is. It says here, All or Titan Macro Gatling Blaster. You've got a couple of little flaps that we need to get rid of before we can look inside. So this is a typical box with a load of bubble wrap and a couple of bags. So you get this bag, which looks like it's got the barrels, and then you get this bag, which looks like it's got the uh, the rest of it, including the armor panels. Um, you get a really nice uh, CAD instruction guide right here, and uh, that's what it will uh, look like when complete. Consists of 15 parts. Shouldn't be too difficult to to put together. Um, it's nice that. These barrels slot into this barrel mount uh, very well. And uh, then you've got these uh, barrel supports that go into those three, and then the last two just slot in. It's a much nicer design than the very old Reaver Gatling Blaster, the new Reaver Gatling Blaster. I think that that's an improvement because um, they did uh, upgrade that kit. They refreshed that, all of the uh, Reaver Titan uh, weapons. Um, but yeah, looking forward to this, looking forward to slotting those barrels uh, in the mount and um, I'm not sure whether I will glue the armour plates first. I think I'll leave off them and paint them separate. Uh, but definitely the hopper and the uh, main body as well, well as the barrels, but I, I might leave off the uh, armour panelling either side. Um, I'm not sure whether to do a sub-assembly with the barrels and spray the barrels and then paint them and then attach these, these two barrels afterwards because uh, one can imagine it would be quite difficult to get in to, to see the detail of those barrels anyway and especially to paint the um, barrel uh, mounts. We'll see, we'll see as it goes on. Anyway, um, let's have a look at these uh, pieces. So here's the main body in the hopper. And the armour panelling, it's very slimy, I'll try not to touch it too much, but uh, yeah, this is one of the, the armour panels, um, fair amount of detail, lots of rivets, uh, looks looks nice, and then this uh, is duplicated, make sure you've got, you know, two different pieces rather than, you know, one right side piece. This is the armour hopper, slots on like that, I think, possibly. Again, make sure you've got two different uh, pieces, not uh, both the same, they look different, there's different thicknesses there. You've got a fair amount of detail on the hopper. Um, and then the main body, which is quite chunky. Uh, I will try and get myself the plasma annihilator at some point and uh, show you that kit. Again, loads of detail, put the mount on. Yeah, it's quite a chunky, hefty piece of kit, that. And then you've got the barrels themselves and the barrel supports. So you've got the six barrels. They are numbered eight, eight, eight. They've all got eight on them. Yeah, really slimy and greasy, so I'm gonna have to go away and uh, clean them up, but no slippage along the 
So you've got a bit of slippage there, uh, but that can be tidied up and sanded. But the rest of it is lovely. I mean, I love the uh, the egress style flared um, barrel ends there. Uh, amazing. Don't need to really drill out the holes too much if you don't want to. Uh, but yeah, a bit of slippage there that runs along there. That's going to be difficult to put right. Let's see any more slippage. Yeah, slippage all along there. Uh, slippage there a little bit, but that's that's quite horrific there. That's going to be hard to tidy up. And then this right here. Not too bad that one, except for there's more slippage on the the base. And then slippage on the base there and a little bit on the tip. Yeah, mm, there's a few of them that the slippage is quite dodgy. You got this, which I think is part of the hopper. That looks all right. The rivets are lovely. Rivets on the back, very nice. There's a little venting there and control panel or whatever. You've got the uh, barrel supports. They look fine. Oh, they've even got rivets on the on the ends. And then you've got the uh, barrel mounting. Yeah, that looks lovely. No slippage there. Looks um, perfect, that piece. And there you go. So there are all the pieces. 15, as I uh, mentioned just slightly earlier. I'm going to let these settle in a lovely warm soapy tub eventually wash them, cut all the gates off, uh, prepare them, get rid of the slippage and the mold lines and uh, the gates and things like that. And then it's ready to spray them, um, get them ready for the, the wall or Titan. And I'll try and bring that review to you as soon as I possibly can. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching The Emperor Protects.